in the mix. We thought it was a trick, but no. We really brought him back. After the after the Decepticons have literally they have literally forced the Autobots into hiding. They bring back one of their strongest team members, probably to replace. Well, they didn't bring him back. It was, no, Starscream did bring him back, probably to replace the one that they just lost. Dreadwing. Hey, enough talking. Let's get in it. But in all seriousness, let me actually talk about how good of a replacement that is. Now that Dreadwing's unfortunately dead, Shockwave being just as strong and way smarter is, is a really good Previous replacement. Day actually. on Transformers Prime. Yep. No, don't move for talk. Just power down. Yep. A new power dominates your good. world. Any further attempts to attack me will be met with even greater force. Miko, no cell phone. You know the rules. Yep, One text yep. couldn't hurt, could it? I realize Optimus sent us all to different locations to make us harder for the cons to find, but if we don't know where in the world anyone else went, how are we going to find them? If you won't. Tell me the location of your compatriots, no matter what it takes, or how long. Assemble how a team long, and disembark. How long, how long? How long, just as long as I am your wife? I know the Earth must die, bro. If you guys haven't heard the Hades to Hades sound soundtrack by now, after like five years, man, what are you doing? Let me get How long? Assemble a team and disembark for Cybertron immediately. Patrick Page for the win! Woo! Shockwave. Lord Megatron. Shockwave! This is quite an unexpected turn. I thought you'd perished on Cybertron. <laughs> yes, as, as did we all. Reports of my demise were greatly exactly. premature. A pair of Autobots infiltrated my facility on Cybertron, sabotaging my space bridge. I gave chase, but failed to accurately calculate the outcome. Bow! And that's what knocked out his eye. I awoke in the rubble, blinded. It soon became clear that I was marooned on our dead planet, with no means of communication. In time, I repaired my wounds and resumed my experiments. The solitude enabled me to make tremendous advances in my research. You're kidding me. Are you telling me that Cybertronians are not also social creatures that need constant communication with one, with one another just to stay sane? They don't need to eat. They don't need to sleep. They don't need to talk to each other. What? No wonder these guys are doing so much better than human. Well, no, they're not. <laughs> no, they lost their whole friggin' planet because of war. They're just as stupid as us, but way more proficient. What the heck? How does that make any sense, bro? Until one day, just, my instruments well, detected a massive surge productive. of unidentifiable energy. Yeah, productive. I traveled to investigate its origin at the edge of the Sea of Rust, where I encountered your salvage team and the smoldering wreckage of the Omega Lock. But this was not the search party I had anticipated so long ago. Leaving one unanswered question. Who the heck Why is was that? I left for scrap? Abandoned. Why? Honestly, if Soundwave gets the crickets, the crap beaten out of him by this guy too, I'll be so satisfied. Finally, he's getting some revenge, some reckoning for his mistakes. He's such a crappy person. Robot. Huh? Oh. Tunners. The, the, the explosion! It, it collapsed the power core chamber. 
The last thing anyone witnessed was you charging into the space bridge portal. True. No one saw you come back out. No, not even true. I find your reply to be logical. It's not. <sighs> Bro, you can tell by his reaction that he's lying. <sighs> But you will be pleased to know that I avenged your seeming demise by personally terminating the Autobot cliff jumper. <laughs> Careful, Starscream. You may dislocate a landing gear, patting yourself on the back. Right. Ace Megatron's first lieutenant, allow me to welcome you back to the winning team. <laughs> and allow me to clarify the new chain of command. Soundwave. While Starscream will retain authority over military operations. Soundwave is going to be the first lieutenant. Shockwave will be my first lieutenant in charge. Did I say Soundwave? <laughs> of course the I did. Over I, meant I meant Shockwave. Shockwave will be my first lieutenant in charge of all scientific endeavors. Duh. So you are saying we shall each report directly to you? Affirmative. Mm-hmm. Completely logical, my liege. Mm -hmm. It is completely logical. Hey, you hungry? There's a town up ahead. Uh, I better not. I'm running low on cash. At least you don't have to buy gasoline. Uh, I'm pulling over anyway. Need to stretch my legs. Makes sense. They can't stay that way forever. <sighs> oh, yeah. RC. Team Prime is scattered to the winds. For all we know, you and I could be the only ones left. I don't believe that, Jack. At all. And I know you don't either. Maybe not. But the Decepticons outnumber us a hundred to one. Aren't there any more Autobots out there who could help? Maybe. The war for Cybertron took a heavy toll. But there were others who escaped in the Ark. Mm -hmm. So where are they? Uh, the heck? I don't know. Oh, scattered to the winds right look at all the leaves blowing they've been blowing since the first so let's spring. focus on getting back to jasper on getting team prime back together mm. black bumble in the house not a bee just the same old rubber masks and bad cg but the usual conspiracy websites might be our only chance to whoa i found something <laughs> Is that Wheeljack? It's Ratchet. Oh, it's what? Oh, okay. That makes that makes sense. <laughs> it, they, their heads don't look the same. Of course, it's Shockwave's toadying is so transparent. Megatron's respect is earned by deeds, not words. Yes. Useless, useless, useless. Billions of cameras in the hands of those miserable humans. One of them is bound to catch an Autobot eventually. Ratchet. Well, well, well. What have we here? A medic. Lord Megatron, I have found something of great interest. The photo was taken yesterday in a junkyard outside Woodland Park. Mm. I'd better scrub Ratchet and replace him with... An Autobot. <laughs> what the? Did he replace him with Bigfoot? If he did, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> what the? That's even worse. What the heck? <laughs> Wait, what? It was just here. Surely one of you saw it. Starscream, you would do well to take a cue from Soundwave on occasion and keep things to yourself. Oh, come on. Thou of silence. Such a cop-out. Dang. Lord Megatron. Surely our Autobot prisoner is a better source of information than this primitive data net. Uh. I will have you know, Shockwave, that I have been grinding Wheeljack down for days. If he knew anything, he would have spilled it by now. True. Again, some prove to be better at holding their tongues than others. Yeah. Perhaps you would have better results if, instead of a club, you used a scalpel. Maybe. I recommend a cortical psychic patch. Oh. Of course he- that's all he freaking does. Of course he would do that. Duh. I don't think he's coming. Aww. Don't worry, Miko. Every record knows the protocol. Jackie will show. Oh, no, he's- if he's- he's still kicking. He's on the ship. He's- he's- Do your worst, Doc. I'm a wrecker. 
I can take it. Trust me. You, in fact, cannot. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Why are you putting it in his face? It's supposed to go in his head. The patch failed to yield any new information on the whereabouts of the Autobots. Duh. Mm, I see. Ah, then it would seem that Wheeljack has outlived his usefulness. With your permission, Lord Megatron. I will see to his immediate termination. Please don't. That would be very unfortunate. Will Jack, can uh, you escape already? Uh, wake up, Wrecker. What the heck? Time to smelt. Oh! That's what I get for reacting too soon. I thought they were gonna throw him off the brig, let him jump the ship. But no. He ain't walking the plank. He's walking. He's walking the volcano. All right, dang. Come on, Jamil. You're in an earth science class. You can't make up a good pun for this. He's walking the. The basaltic magma. Whatever. Commander Starscream wanted you God conscious, dang. so you know precisely who ordered your execution. Where is Screamy? Doesn't have the bearings to do this himself. <laughs> You know you can just hit these guys, right? Jump. Hey, are you a flyer? No. He, yep, go ahead and knock him. They're too weak to do anything about this. Okay, I'll jump. On him. He's gonna jump on him. Bam! Ha <laughs> ha! Thought so. Yeah! Woo! To infinity and beyond! Dang! Wait, he's your ride. Don't kill him yet. Thanks for the ride. Yeah, just go ahead and bail. Oh my, he is dead. They keep dying. What's the point of using these guys? Man? You're just killing them with this. Just make a try and not realize that every single one of these guys that he puts out is gonna die. Look at this. Why are you again? They're, they're dead. All four of them. Because nobody wanted to do this himself. He's gonna die too. Watch this. He's gonna explode. They're in the rock. I didn't even have to count down. I, he just exploded again. This is how you handle things? Yeah. The person who does everything else by himself. Or at least tries to do stuff with. Never mind. He's he uses lackeys. He's useless. Wheeljack is not the first prisoner to escape Starscream's care. At all. Actually, Master, I allowed Wheeljack to escape. You what? Because it'll lead him to Bulkhead. But the Autobots' every move, his every word, will be monitored. Thanks to a simple tracking device implanted while the prisoner was still unconscious, following the failed cortical psychic patch. Now, all we have to do is wait, watch, and listen. When the Wrecker reunites with the other Autobots, my armada will strike. <laughs> I like that. I like the fact that, he, that he's so... that he's satisfied with that answer. He's got to be here. Starstream can be smart sometimes. His ego just gets in the way all the time. But every once in a while, broken clocks, right? Ratchet! Ratchet, it's me, Raph! Uh, Ratchet? I think that's just Go a, away. Uh, I think that's just a sad You're old interrupting man. my power, Tom. Ratchet is dead. He's just a sad old guy now. Come on, Ratchet. We need your help to find the others. We can't stop Megatron. Not anymore. The war is over. And we lost. Jeez. You're giving up? We can't just give up? Then tell me what we can do. Fight. Without communications. Without a ground bridge. 
without a base of operations or resources of any kind. We have each other. He's right. We know Starscream had access to a ground bridge while he was operating solo. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, he'd clearly been using the derelict Decepticon ship, the Harbinger. What does that have to do with anything? Go to it. It could be full of Cybertronian tech, and it's probably abandoned again now that Starscream's back with the cons. Yeah, <laughs> so well, go to it. Resources won't be of much use, not without someone to... You. ...lead us. You. It's a start. And you'll have to start without me. This is someone else's fight now. There is no one else, Ratchet. Just us. Just the team. It's just us against the world in this life of sin. Ain't nobody gonna take us out. It's always us, never them. Please. Just let me rust in peace. That was kind of funny. Come on, B. At least you guys know where to go, and he knows where to find you. Just meet at the ship. Back against the wall, little fingers in the air. Busting through I'm the back. crowds, can you hear me now? He's just dying. <laughs> I combed through every square micron of our old base. I couldn't find Ratchet's medical kit, not even a bandage. The Forge. Let Solus Prime. Ah, the Decepticons have it. God dang it. Of course, the Forge would make sense. All you have to do is smack him in the chest a couple times, and then it'll be fine. But now he has to go barge the base. It's gone too. The cons picked the place clean. Yeah, you gotta go, you gotta go infiltrate. Take it from him. Wait. If you had the forge, you could fix yourself up. Yes. Power of the primes. Optimus, hang on just a little longer. Bye bye. The hammer's gotta be somewhere in Megatron's fortress. Time to die. <laughs> Literally just bow, bow, bow. <laughs> bang, bang into the moon. I know you want it. Bang, bang. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> That's funny. Is he coming? Go. Dang Wake it! Up. Why'd you have to drop her like that? Why? Someone's coming. It, it's the person who you'd expect to be coming. To. Like, you were waiting specifically for him. Why are you surprised? Uh, you were. I'd know the hum of that engine anywhere. The one person you were waiting for has come. Jackie! Where you been, buddy? Catching up with a few old dance partners. Heh. <laughs> Good to see you, kid. Safe to assume we're the only three wreckers around? So what are we waiting for? Let's do some damage. Mm. What's our next move, Jackie? Circle back to base? There is no base. God's blasted to dust. The dimwit played right into my hands. <laughs> All seekers to the flight deck. We have pinpointed the enemy. Oh, frick. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What's wrong with you? Every freaking time. Will you stop with this book? Okay. They're going to send six little planes to go get destroyed in a battle that's going to last five seconds. Come on. Okay. okay. All right. Attack. My armada. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. They're just gonna get killed, bruh. What? Just go do it yourself! Literally, the leaders of the Decepticons are the strongest ones! If they just did these things by themselves, then they wouldn't lose so often! I mean, they're winning right now, but they could end it all right now. They could literally- These guys suck, man. That's why they gotta cheat to win, because they can't do anything by themselves. My, my armada. No, he's his voice. We are at the coordinates, Commander Starscream. My armada. Hold fast. They are approaching okay. your position. Kinda. The heck? Did they find the tracker? They found the tracker and put it on a boat. That's targets in range. That's bullcrap. 
How? How did he do that? You know what? And all of them are gonna die at once? Are you kidding me? And boom. Grenade! <laughs> what was that? Are they all dead? He tricked us. All of them? The whole the whole squad got taken out in less than a second. That's I said five seconds. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. You guys. How'd you suck. know the cons planted the tracker on you? I figured the cons were up to something, so I did a little poking around under my hood. Uh, <laughs> that's my Jackie. <laughs> so, what's our next that's... move? I salvaged some munitions from the jackhammer <laughs> on my way out. You thought that made a loud noise? Just wait. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's rock and roll on out of here. Hold it right there, B. And powering up. Lovely. No Billy Eilish. Oh, never mind. Keep trying. We'll figure it out. Yep, yep, yep. Thank God. Get in here already. You're miscalibrating the Energon transducer. Ratchet! Now step out of my way so I can work. He's just gonna stare you in the eyes until you finish. <laughs> He's just gonna look at you like. Until you finish. <laughs> the last look. time things looked this bleak, Optimus slipped me that key card. Something we could hang our hopes on. I know you're feeling helpless, Jack. But this doesn't need to be your burden. Whoa! What the heck? Well, dang. Alright then. Oh my god. That's, that's ridiculous. Oh, it's Wheeljack. How did they find me? Wait, how did you find me, Sue? Stay behind me. But how did they find you? No, it's... Are you telling me Soundwave stole their whole ship? Soundwave walked into the into the base and stole their ship. Jack, I don't think we're gonna need that key card. How how did he do that? He he literally walked in and stole the ship out of the base without them noticing. That's insane. Need Ultra Magnus. Ah, okay, okay, never mind. Well, I thought that this was somebody I knew. I should have expected a new character. Wow. I mean, no, it's a new ship. It's one we've never seen before. I don't know Jack, why. I don't think we're gonna need that key card. I didn't expect a new character. I just thought that he pulled out one of the ships. Who is this? Need Ultra Magnus. So not only did you fail to destroy the Autobots, but you allowed their number to increase. Is there no one who can bring me their heads? What? If I may, Lord Megatron, during my exile on Cybertron, I resumed work on a long dormant project. One that I believe may provide a solution to our current problem. Cybernucleic acid? Uh. The building blocks of all Cybertronian life. Wait, what? This hails from a specimen I excavated upon our planet, and has yielded promising results. So it's... Instead of RNA, they got CNA. They got Certified Nursing Assistant as... as, a uh, rigging genes. What is... Deoxyribonucleic Acid is the genetic building block? Yeah, they've got Certified Nursing Assistant as genetic building blocks. That's crazy. The Autobots continue to evade us. What makes you think we can afford to wait for the answer to our prayers to be birthed in some petri dish? You misunderstand. The subject has been fully cultivated. Yep. And need only be transported from my laboratory on Cybertron. Really? Oh. And by all means, activate the space bridge. So they're getting a new guy too. We're getting new two characters. New two characters. We're getting two new characters in one episode. That's insane. Ugh. Is that a dinosaur? It's a robot dinosaur. What the heck? This is Land Before Time. Friggin' Jurassic Park. 
All right, little foot, come show us what you got. Oh, that's not that's not a dinosaur. That's a dragon. That's worse. Okay, Spyro, let's do this. Oh, look, it's even purple. Present to you, my liege, the ultimate Autobot Hunter. My lord, why is it so big? How did it fit inside of that tube? That's a whole Spyro grew up. What is this? Dang, what was the big dragon called? The one who tried to kidnap him? Mag... Mm, mm, Mal... Dor... What... Some... Mal... Mal something, I don't know. Whatever the heck it's called, that's what just popped out of that thing. Spyro's adopted dad just... just came out of the tube and started... being intimidating, because... Oh well. Oh, yeah. Ha ha. So guys, go ahead and put it in the comments. How much do you want to bet that the new character is going to die killing the other new character? How much do you want to bet? I'm putting down 40. Let's... Yeah, that's, that's, that's my bet. $40. And if I get it right, then somebody's going to... I don't know. But this is, this is pretty cool. Hold on, hold on, actually, before I do anything else. Malfor. His name is Malfor. That's who just crawled out of the tube. That's who's gonna start hunting the Autobots. That's who's gonna make this show a lot more interesting, even though that wasn't not possible a few episodes ago, not even a lot. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, share, and all the good stuff. If you guys wanna see the Autobots fight a dragon, go ahead and get this video to 20 likes, because I know, I, I wanna see it. I want you guys to watch me see it. That's what we do in here. You guys are loved, you're appreciated, you're gonna do amazing things, have, have an awesome week. Be awesome. Oh wait, you're already doing that. <laughs>